Welcome to our MicroGrid Validation Center here in Friedrichshafen. Here we prove that the different technologies we offer to generate power and store energy are working together efficiently and the energy system performs the functions requested by our customers. Renewable energies are not available continuously, but the demand for energy is 24-7 all year. And uh, to close this gap, different technologies to store energy or to convert energy from one energy carrier to another are composed together and form a microgrid. What you can see here is basically how we set up our visualization on the one hand side. Left down, this is our single line diagram, so you can really uh, tell what the system looks like, all the switch gears, all the assets, all the details. If you go in there, you can just click on it and you will see the whole details. You can also control it from that view. Uh, to the right hand side, that is really made here for the validation center. It's a different sequences of operation we can provide. Um, and we can just click through it and tell, okay, that is a typical uh, sequence of operation when it comes, for example, to emergency power. And the top, the big picture is really the overview. Here you can see the, the flow of energy and stuff like that. And it's also part of our standard visualization. And basically, this is the way we, we try to really make the handling of the complete system as easy as possible, having everything together here. Our battery container is uh, basically split up in a couple of different compartments. First one here is the control room. We also do have batteries here, smaller batteries for powering up the whole system to be black start capable. Um, but the most important thing really is the next room. So here are the batteries. Uh, a lot of racks that we have organized here. In total we can store one megawatt hour of energy um, going through the next door basically we will find the connection from the DC world from the batteries to the AC world behind that door is basically then the the inverter that brings the the DC power from the batteries into our low voltage um, distribution network um, you can much better see it here from the outside um, that's then basically the end of our system You can see the heart of our fuel cell systems. It's really the, the fuel cell modules themselves. Um, we arrange them here in a, in a rack. Um, one of them really open so you can see inside. Um, but this is still a demonstration uh, set up here. The special about this is really the modularity. So having modules like that, you can scale from a very small system all the way to a really big system, um, having all on one technology. That's a big advantage for us. Here we do have our Series 500 gas engine, and it's the first one we can really run from natural gas 100% to hydrogen 100% and everything in between, so every mixture is possible. It's a 170 kW engine and the chainset around it. So here we are now coming to our CHP unit. It's running on natural gas. Um, with that CHP unit, we produce about 1.4 megawatts of electrical power, P uh, thermal uh, usage. We, we get up to roughly 98% of efficiency based on the gas we use for it. The automation and controls has two major tasks. First, making a complex system easy to handle and second, get the best performance out of that system. MTU Energetic covers the control of the complete site, of the individual assets, and has direct access to the control units of the components below. This brings the opportunity to optimize controls even crossing the borders of control units. So we can orchestrate the complete system and optimize all technologies together.